Thank you. <laughs> so, good. That, that's good. Uh, one, one other, I'm going to say, one other system that's going to be affected by all of this. It, it's already happening. Common sense, yes. Uh, Linda's running with the microphone. You're going to stand up. Let the CIA watch you now. Um, organized religion. Organized mm, religion. Yeah. yeah, absolutely. Why? I just think people are starting to figure out that you can't depend on a savior or a mass, you know, just you can't depend on all those things. Yes. Um, and I think they're just slowly going to start figuring that out. Yes. That What's going to happen? What's already happening with organized religion? Well, I think it's kind of starting to fall apart. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, I mean, maybe not certain sectors of it, but I, I think over time it's just going to be more and more and more. It is. And, and, what, what, and uh, what keeps it together? Fear. I think p the reason it stays here yes. is fear. Yes. They have s yes. everybody under a, this block of fear. fear. And let's go back to the previous element. What keeps it together? Money. Oh, money. Yeah. money. Oh, well. Yeah, yeah. And, and, and there's a, th this is all common sense. This is not philosophical, spiritual, or anything about it. But it's really common sense. No. When people stop going to organized religion, religion because right. organized religion hasn't given them the power to affect change in their own life. Pure and simple. They've been going along with this. I think in terms of your past lifetimes, you've been going along with it for a long time. The promise, the undelivered promise, the unfulfilled hope and dream. So people have been going along with it, and the question we ask at the Ascended Masters Club are, are they any better off? than a lifetime ago, or two lifetimes ago. Are they more creative, empowered humans? And for the most part, no. Religion hasn't brought them into their freedom at all. So people are walking away. Now, they're not necessarily walking here. They're not necessarily walking to the cry and work or any of the other spiritual organizations. Uh, that, that we're involved with, they're just hiding. They don't want any more. They don't want any more rhetoric. They don't want any more promises, methods, procedures, or donation baskets in front of them. Yes, comment uh, with the mic. Oh, you have it. Yes. Um, I find it ironic that a lot of them say they're saved, and I grew up in that environment, and they're so lost. Yeah, but, and maybe not. Well, and maybe not. But yes. I think at the core but of a lot of But save from things, what? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, that's true. Yes. Um, but using that word to me is, I don't know if ironic is the right word, yes. but um, it just seems strange. Yes. That, and, 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 and I grew and, up that way, and that's all I ever heard, but now looking at things in a different light, yes. um, just saying that word in the way that they say it just doesn't make sense to me. Yes. And, and, and to a degree... There, there, is a, um, uh, there is a certain logic in it, because at a certain point they allow some outside force to be a standard for them. And I'm going to talk about that. That is my conclusion for today. Already jumping ahead to that. No, no, that's fine. Uh, but, but yes, uh, they, they had something else out there that they modeled themselves after, something they ins inspired to be. Good. Excellent. Next question on here. So yes, basically, financial systems, next organized religions. There's a certain theory out there that when people turn their backs on church and therefore the old God, they're going to be lost, they're going to be heathens, and this world will break out in war. I contend probably not. They're going to take some time off from the rhetoric and the promises and the fear. And actually, when they do that, when they go home on Sunday morning, and not going to church at all, but when they find themselves in a little bit of their own solitude and quiet, they'll start to understand that God is not out there, Jesus shouldn't be hanging on a cross, and they'll start to understand that there is a feeling that's going on right here, something warm and real, something that is very very lucid and very brilliant all at the same time. And I'll start to get it that God is right here, always has been. Then they'll join together with kindred spirit, like-minded people 
from all around the world because technology allows it now. They'll share their stories, but they won't get involved in a lot of rhetoric and processes. They won't join organizations. They'll just join together once in a while to breathe. Brilliant.